Hey guys, welcome to On Fire Roblox Scripting, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a script that will give players a badge just for joining your game. So, let's just get right into it. So the first thing we want to do is actually create the badge. Now to do that um, in your game, uh, first of all, you want to save it to Roblox Studio so that it's, um, it's a proper game. And then you want to go back into Studio and then click on Game Settings. And then we're going to go over to Monetization. And over here, you should see this section called badges. And over here, you just press create. It'll take you to the Roblox web page of your game. And then you want to find your game. So in this case, this is going to be badge tutorial. And then you want to click on the three dots on the top right of your game. And then I'm just going to click on create badge. So it's going to bring you to this page over here. And what you can do is you can upload an image for your badge, set a name and set a description. So over here, I've quickly uh, stolen an image off of Google and use that as my welcome badge image. And I've set the name to, uh, well, actually we can change this name to welcome badge. And my description is just welcome to my game. And then you wanna make sure this badge is enabled so that players can actually earn it. And then after that, you just wanna press create badge. So once this badge is created, it will be under badges. And then what you wanna do is click on the three dots over here and then what we want to do is press copy asset ID. This is going to copy a, you know, a bunch of numbers that we're going to be using later. So just make sure that you have that copied. So after we have our badge created, we can go back into studio and then it's going to press cancel to exit. What we want to do now is go under the view tab and open up the explore. And then what we want to do is go under the explore and find the service script service. We're going to click the plus and enter in a script. And I'm just going to name this script to badge handler, just like that. So I'm going to zoom in just a little bit and you can now write what I write. So first of all, we're going to start off with some variables. So local badge ID equals two. And over here, we're just going to paste in our badge ID that we copied just moments ago. So it should be just like a really long string of text that looks something like this. Obviously yours will be different depending on your badge. After that, we can go down two lines and now we need to get some services. So the first one is going to be the badge service. So local badge service equals to game colon get service inside brackets. We're going to put quotation marks and I'm going to get the badge service. And the other service we need is the players. So local players equals to game colon get service inside of brackets, quotation marks, and we're just going to write in players. So now that we have our services, we can now write a function uh, to give the players badges. So this is going to be a local function, and I'm just going to name this one award badge. I'm going to put in brackets, and we're going to pass in the parameter called player. After that, we're going to go down a line. And first of all, we're going to check if uh, the player already has a badge, because if they already have the badge, uh, we do not need to award them the badge again. So. We're going to do that by using a protected call. So we're going to write local success and then comma. And then I'm just going to name the other one has badge. And this is going to be equal to a P call, which is a protected call. And then we're going to put in function put in brackets, go out one and go down the line. And then we're going to write return. And then it's going to be our badge service colon user has badge async. And then we're going to pass in our parameters of player dot user ID comma and then our badge ID. So pretty much what this does is if the player already has a badge, uh, we'll return true. And if they don't, we'll return false. So after that, we can go down two lines and over here, we're going to check if it's true or false. So if success and not has badge then, and then we're going to go down the line. So this not has badge is just to check if it's true or false. Not just means false. So if the player does not have the badge, then we can give them the badge. So we're going to write P call and then function, put in brackets, and we're going to go down the line. And then we're going to write badge service, colon, award badge. And then inside the brackets, we're going to write player dot user ID, and then comma, and then the badge ID. And finally, we're going to go all the way to the bottom and then we're going to write players dot player added colon connect. And then inside the brackets, we're going to write 
award badge. And then we can delete that set of brackets. Just make it look like that. So this should be the entire script and let's go test it out. So if I join the game right now, as soon as I enter the game, you can see we have been awarded the welcome badge. So yeah, that'll be it for this tutorial. If you liked it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.